hello guys welcome back so in the last video we have learned how to insert data into the database using php so today we will see how we can display those inserted data on a web page in a tabular format so watch this video till the end and uh, you will see how easy this is this is the preview uh, what we will learn today so first let me insert some data here So registration is successful and you can see the inserted data here in this table the last one the last one is I already insert I have inserted just now so this is the home page we have created in the last video so now let's create a table inside this page and uh, let's go to the text editor and inside this page we will create our table so let's first uh, create a division here well uh, first let me copy the bootstrap cdn here in this page and uh, copy this CSS code link and paste it inside the head tag and also copy the ZS CDN and paste it inside it uh, now we will need uh, font awesome CDN also copy this uh, font awesome.min.css copy this link and paste it inside the head now we have to create a table here inside this division well I believe that why bother to write the same piece of code when you can find it on internet Writing the same code is uh, by yourself is waste of time. Yeah, you can write the, write it uh, if you want to customize it. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna just copy and paste it. I'm gonna copy this code table table bordered bordered copy this code and uh, paste it inside the division we don't need this uh, value inside the T body so I'm gonna just delete it and I will rewrite the T head according to my uh, table okay
now save it uh, let's check uh, refresh it yeah you can see our table is created go to the text editor and inside the tbd we will write our php code which will uh, display the inserted data in this table okay so php and one thing you should always remember that you have to uh, insert you have to include the uh, php connection page in every web page so uh, require db connection db connect dot php uh, now let's take a variable dollar this variable we will create a php query mysqli query and connection variable then select star from student this student uh, is our database table name okay now let me create a loop while loop so inside this while loop we will create a condition so row equal to uh, inside this variable row we will create a php code mysqli fetch array query one this one query one open the while loop so this mysql fetch array function is used to fetch rows from the database and store them as an array now uh, take the tr tag table row and inside the tr tag we will create a td table body td tag i'm just gonna leave the first td tag uh, empty for the time being and I will write uh, the PHP code from the second one okay um, now row name this uh, dollar row name will display the name arrow sorry name row of the database
this one this name the name row so like that we will take email phone number and state also so copy this page copy this code and paste here done wrong yeah I have to put echo here echo will echo is used to display okay in PHP so I will copy this and paste it here So now save and let's go to the web page and then reload yeah you can see our data is displaying in this table but the update and delete under the update and delete there's nothing showing here so I'm gonna put some font or some icon here so let's go to the text editor Inside the TR let's create a TD and inside it uh, take a i tag Uh, take a i tag so this i tag will display the icons yeah you can see the icon inside the update and delete now this uh, table looks uh, not disciplined I want to uh, more organize I want this table to more organize okay so inside the serial number I'm gonna put serial number for that go to the PHP file and here create a variable SL equal to 0 and inside the while loop dollar uh, sl plus plus now inside the td tag the first td tag which i have left empty uh, php echo dollar s now click save then again reload yeah you can see under the serial number the number is displayed let's go to the index space uh, inside the registration form let me put some in uh, input data
so registration is successful here you can see uh, the inserted data is showing in this table the last one okay so like this you can display the inserted data in a table if you like this video give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel thank you